I feel like I've been really blessed throughout my life because I began playing the flute when I was about eight years old and I was just hooked on flute from the first moment. My parents never had to tell me to practice. I just was always loved the flute. And because I played the flute, I've had so many, many opportunities. I have a master's from the San Francisco Conservatory, and it is my life's goal to share my joy of music with others, whether that's through teaching or playing or, or just talking to them about music. That is my goal. Hi, my name is Gail Edwards, and I'm a flutist, a teacher, and an arts administrator. I am the flute artist in residence here at School of the Arts. I also am on the faculty at USF and have two flute choirs, Bel Canto Flutes for, for Adults and Gems Flute Choir for high school and middle schoolers. And my flute groups have played all over the Bay Area, including AT&T Park for the Giants, San Francisco City Hall, and even beyond the Bay Area at Anaheim for the Flute Convention and Las Vegas for the Flute Convention. All are welcome in my flute groups and my private lessons, so if you're interested, come on down and join us. And if you're having an event, there's nothing like the flute or a flute group to enhance the ambience. On the coast side, I have students coming to my house for both private and group lessons. And when the Rob Schneider Foundation came into fruition, I was one of the first band teachers in Pacifica. And I was also a member of the Cultural Arts Commission. I also am the general manager of the Oakland Youth Orchestra, which is a, a training orchestra for high school kids. We are going to Argentina in June, and that will be interesting, bringing 90 teenagers to Argentina. Although I really like teaching and find it very stimulating and I learn a lot from my students, my real passion is playing the flute. I am a member of three orchestras, uh, Sacramento Philharmonic, the Modesto Symphony, and Napa. One of the biggest compliments I get from my students is when they hear me perform something and they come up to me and they say, I want to play that piece too. To me, that means I've been an effective performer. I've, I've convinced them with my performance and then they too want to learn that piece. The reason I feel arts education is so important, especially in this era when there's so many gangs and kids coming home to empty houses because their parents are working, is it gives them a sense of community. It gives them a place to belong. It also helps them learn about achievement, a personal achievement. It's kind of like a math skill. You have this skill and you retain it for the rest of your life. I think it's incumbent upon all of us to try to support the arts whenever we can. And that means things like going to gallery openings or going to concerts or maybe even giving somebody a ride to a concert or a gallery opening. It's important to support the arts in these little ways. Together it all adds up to a lot.